What is going on, you guys? It's your boy DJ back, and tonight I am breaking rank. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is DJ. I am the head instructor here at the Temple Music Academy, where we like to do reaction videos on YouTube and lessons from time to time, even teaching people music, because, hey, life is good with no strings attached, except for the ones on the guitars. <laughs> no. Usually every day when I get in, the team presents me with a list of suggested videos based on the comments and emails that you guys send in, but tonight I'm breaking rank by choosing a Whitechapel song, because Whitechapel released a new one called Lost Boy, and I am dying to check it out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm actually not really much of a Whitechapel fan. So let's get right into this. I've got Whitechapel right here, headphones right there, and you guys right there for the first time ever checking out Lost Boy from the new album, Kin, apparently. This is the official video. Magic Finger does the work. Let's watch it go. I mean, we gotta rewind that. There's a lot of subliminal stuff going on. This is an interesting... I've never really seen a Whitechapel video that had animation like this. Notice we're going past like a snake into the mouth and there's even a DNX helix or double helix, I think it is. It looks like there's even some uh, pandemic looking items. I could be completely wrong here. But Phil Bozeman's on point and Alex on drums. Alex Wade on uh, guitar, I believe, if I got that right. Ah, uh, so sick. This double helix? Ooh, that's interesting. Ah, that's interesting. So we got like pedal licks. We got Phil matching that as well, which is really cool. Whitechapel uses this interesting style of composition where the drums typ typically are busy to give Phil room to hit really powerful shots like this and let him have his deep lows and his nice mids and highs that he likes to do as well. Also lets the lyrics hit home very well. You'll get the guitar players to do some panning effects and lots of pedals and sometimes just hit really good sick power shot grooves on the snare drum as well. It's kind of their notorious style if you will and there's serious eras of Whitechapel. There's even a new era of corruption. Eh? Huh? Getting some pedal licks. Letting the chord ring out. That's a lyric. Back to our big chorus here, okay? You can hear with some of those chug riffs, cha 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 that they're matching the snare shots. Uh, Rudiger, Rudinger, Rudiger, Rudy, sick drummer, absolute beast. Lots of bell work, really cool. Oh snap! Literally. Cool, it's like tool. Very tool feel. Clean. Will 
This shot is really cool too. It reminds me of that video game Death Stranding, which is a great game. Go check it out. It's very, very visual like that. Phil's cleans are interesting to me because they're so polarizing to a lot of people. It becomes a very questionable thing for some people. I know when they first started doing it back in, I feel like it was Mark of the Blade, but let me know in the comments below if I'm totally off point here. Uh, but back then with that album, you started doing some cleans and people were just not into it or people were into it. A lot of people, it's, it's hard to get into that concept if you've ever known Whitechapel to be with the brutal vocals and stuff. But I like to tell people if you removed yourself from the name Whitechapel for a second, does it work? Is it still a killer song? Yes. All this is showing, in my opinion, is Phil evolving as a vocalist and wanting to be a vocalist of a band, not just some extreme screaming type person. He's trying to do musical things and they're trying to evolve their sound. How can you hate that? Evolution is key, my friends. Side note, the mix of the hi-hats is awesome. Like teeth? Are we coming through teeth? That's neat. So let's read one that a bit. There's a bit of a solo lead kind of thing going on here, which is neat. You almost hear like a wah effect going on. It's really cool. And Whitechapel is known for having multiple guitar players, and you can hear that now. A big bend and some open chord stuff, but then a movement in the bass line. And even the bass register of the chords as well will help us guide around what's going on and make it sound super thick. You can hear that with this like do, 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 do. It's very cool. Rewind a bit. And watch as it just comes in. Called a retardando. So here what we get is the next evolution of Whitechapel for the year 2021 at this time, which is great because they actually released The Valley, what feels like not so much time ago. Personally, I feel as a Whitechapel fan, this is a really interesting step forward into what they've done previously with like The Valley and Mark of the Blade or my favorite album, Somatic Defilement. And you can start to see a lot of really crazy evolutionary tactics in this band. Musicianship, songwriting, new members, old members, whatever. It's really cool. I like the dynamicism that Phil's doing. I like the guitar parts but I'm not aware too much of which guitar player is playing what part if you guys could let me know in the comments that would help me out a lot as I like to kind of get into this stuff guys thank you so much for watching the video don't forget the links to everything that we are about are in the description below and I hope I see you guys very soon jump over to the patreon page follow me on instagram do what you gotta do and wherever you are whatever you're doing watch it go